The properties of real numbers are relationships that are true for all real numbers, except, in one case, zero. One property of real numbers excludes a single number, zero. Zero is the additive identity for the real numbers, and zero is the one real number that has no multiplicative inverse. The opposite, or additive inverse, of any number a is negative a. The sum of a number and its opposite is zero, the additive identity. Some examples, 12 plus negative 12, its opposite, equals zero. Negative seven plus seven, also zero. The reciprocal, or multiplicative inverse, of any non-zero number, a, is one over a. The product of a number and its reciprocal is one, the multiplicative identity. Some examples of this, eight times one-eighth equals one, and negative five times negative one-fifth also equals one. Uh, take note, properties of real numbers. Let A, B, and C represent real numbers. Closure means that if you add numbers from within the same set or subset of the real numbers, their sum will also be in that same set. So since we're talking about real numbers, the addition property of closure, or closure property of addition, says that A plus B will be a real number. The closure property of multiplication says similarly that A times B is a real number. The commutative property of addition says that A plus B is equivalent to B plus A. The commutative property of multiplication says that A times B is equivalent to B times A. The associative property of addition says that A plus B grouped together so we would perform that addition first, then plus C is equivalent to A plus grouping B plus C and doing that addition first. So we're just associating different variables first and performing that operation before the other. But we end up with equivalent values. Similarly with multiplication, A times B, then times C, is equivalent to A times B times C. The identity property of addition, A plus zero equals A. So adding zero doesn't change the value of A. Zero plus A also equals A and zero is called the additive identity. The multiplicative identity, or identity property of multiplication says, a times one equals a, also one times a equals a, and we call the number one the multiplicative identity. The inverse property of addition says that a plus its opposite, negative a, equals zero. The inverse property of multiplication says, a times its inverse, one over a, equals one, and a can't equal zero, that's because a is a denominator in that expression. And finally, the distributive property, which is sometimes called the distributive property of multiplication over addition, can be grouped in both categories, and it can be written that a times the quantity b plus c equals a times b plus a times c. Problem number four identifying properties of real numbers. Which property does the equation illustrate? First, a, negative two-thirds times negative three-halves equals one. The product of the numbers is one. The equation thus illustrates the inverse property of multiplication. Part b, what about three times four grouped together then times five equals four times three grouped times five. The factors three and four are reordered. So this equation illustrates the commutative property of multiplication. Your turn, part A. Which property does the equation three times the sum g plus h plus two g equals the quantity three g plus three h plus two g illustrate? And finally, part B, a reasoning item. Use properties of real numbers to show that a plus the quantity three plus negative a equals three. Justify each step of your solution.